Hi, this is Rubber Cheese. Today I'm going to be doing a demo and a quick review of this TPMS uh, relearn tool. Uh, so this is this will work for GM vehicles that are approximately 2011 and newer. And I'll be doing this procedure on my 2019 Chevy Impala. Um, so the way these cars work, every time you change tires or change TPMS sensors, you have to do a relearn and you do require an external tool. On some of the older cars, um, I think there was some sort of memory, but on the newer cars, you've got to use a tool. Um, I bought this on Amazon and there's a number of identical looking units. I'd actually originally bought a different identical one, um, but it didn't work. Uh, so I returned it and bought this one. And as you can see, this has got some branding on it, Agocom, I guess. Um, and this one works really well. Um, I did it when I put on my snow tires. Uh, so anyways, I've just taken off my snow tires and put my all seasons back on. Uh, so we'll do a bit of a demo. Um, also want to mention that I'm going to put a link to this in the product description so you can find the specific model if you want. Um, so another thing which is kind of cool about this one that the other one I got <clears throat> didn't have is a little manual. It's not really required, but you know. Um, so the tool itself is pretty small. It's got a nice little cover on it. And it's powered with, I believe it is a single nine volt battery, which is not included. And it comes with just a single button. And even though it looks like you should just be touching it and then letting go, um, what I found is you actually have to be holding the button until each tire learns. So um, before I start, I'm just gonna turn on the car just so that you can see uh, that nothing's programmed right now. So there's a service uh, tire pressure monitor system warning, and you can see that there are no pressures shown. So I'm just gonna turn that off. And let's enter uh, learning mode. So in my 19 Impala, and I'm assuming many similar uh, GMs, to do that, all you have to do is hold the start stop button for five seconds. Uh, but do not press down the uh, brake during this time. So now it goes into this diagnostic mode. And just a couple other things to point out. When I had the other sensor that didn't work, um, I was trying to troubleshoot. Some people were saying that you want the wheels to be facing relatively straight um, for it to work. So that's just a tip, I guess. And the other thing is... I put my key fob in the car so that when I go out to do the relearn, um, the car isn't confused that the key fob's gone. I don't really know if that's required, but I figure I might as well. So now we're in here, and all I'm going to do is hold the check mark until it goes into relearn mode. So now we're doing tire learning, and we've got to start with the front left. So you just put this right beside the, um, the valve stem and hold until the car beeps. And then we're going to go to the front right tire. And same deal. So you can see it's not consistent timing. Sometimes you have to hold it for a little while before it, it registers. All right, and then the last is the rear left. Okay, and so those last two beeps were just saying that it was successful. And if I get in the car, I can see that I'm getting readings now. So to finish everything, we can just hit the stop start button. And then we should be good to go. So I'm just gonna start the car. 
and we can see the tire pressures are all there and I'm just gonna shut it off because I'm inside the garage and that's all you have to do. Now, one last thing I just wanna mention, no matter what brand you get, make sure you put this somewhere that you can find it. <laughs> it's fairly small and it took me an embarrassing amount of time to find before making this uh, demo and review. So, I mean, it's obviously a pretty simple device. Um, it sells for, depending on which one you buy, about 15 to $25 Canadian, and I would assume 10 to 15 US um, on Amazon. And like I say, I'll, I'll put a link to this particular um, make model, but there are a whole bunch of identical looking ones that probably work just as well. Um, although this is the one that I had luck with. So I really don't have much else to say. Um, but if you have one of these GMs with a TPMS and you change your tires, it's definitely worth the investment. Uh, if you want to see more reviews and demos of products, please subscribe to my channel. Anyways, uh, I hope you enjoyed and I'll be monitoring the comments. So let me know if you've got any questions. Thanks for watching.